All right. We live? I think we are. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Black Friday here at Huckberry. I don't know if any of you can see me. I don't know how many of you are out there. I'm going to pretend like, you know, it's just my mom watching. Um, and I'm going to pause for just a minute or two to let people kind of get online and, and get into the get into the chat here. Um, but who's stoked away stoked to give away some uh, some pappy? I am this guy right here. Um, it is Black Friday, big day for us here at Huckberry. Hopefully, a big day for all y'all shopping on Huckberry.com. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I'm in San Francisco. Uh, this is our San Francisco headquarters, as opposed to our Austin headquarters. Um, yeah, it's it's gorgeous. We had Thanksgiving yesterday. Picture me like ten pounds thinner, probably a little bloated. I uh, I put I put frozen peas on my eyes this morning, so uh, so they wouldn't be too puffy. I'm here with uh, I'm here with Matt, Matt here, uh, who just got married. So if you see Matt soon, ask him the traditional newlywed question. When are you having a baby? Um, Matt, when are you having babies? It's been a week, so he's already completely late. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I'm waiting here for Matt to give us the go ahead. I don't know how many of you are out there, but I'm just gonna keep talking. Just keep talking, just keep swimming, right? Uh, it's 12.02, um, we're, uh, what, what else can I talk about? Oh, stuff, okay, so I bought, I've been buying a ton of stuff on Huckberry. Like, that's actually not a lie. That's not just me marketing to you. Um, and uh, what have I bought recently? Oh, I bought, I bought this thing, it's called the Wick candle. It's like this fake LED candle. It's amazing, it's amazing. My family is super tired to be talking about it. Uh, what else did I buy? I bought a, uh, I bought one of the uh, the deck jackets in black, Sherpa, big Sherpa guy. So stoked for that. Um, what else should you buy on Huckberry today? Buy, get yourself a wax trucker, man. Come on, get with the program. Everyone looks good in a wax trucker. You know, you don't want to look like a librarian like me wearing this wearing his cardigan, Mister uh, Mister Rogers here. Um. All right, <laughs> Matt's giving me the thumbs up. So I think we're gonna go ahead and jump in. Um, all right, so I'm Arlo Crawford. Uh, I am the editor of the journal, the Huckberry Journal. Um, I have been given the honor today of announcing the winner for our eighth annual Pappy Day. So we've done this, uh, well, seven times. This is our eighth time. And uh, we give away a bottle of Pappy. Um, <clears throat> if you're here, if you're watching the video, you probably know what Pappy is. Uh, but, you know, Pappy Van Winkle, America's most coveted bourbon. Um, it is, uh, there actually is a Pappy, uh, is uh, Julian Van Winkle, uh, the original, um, opened his distillery. He started working in, in bourbon in, I think, the 1890s. He opened his distillery on the day of the Kentucky Derby in 1930, Stitzel Weller, um, and would go on to make bourbon from there for many, many years, um, but bottled under different names as well. But um, then the distillery was sold in the 70s, uh, and then bourbon really took a hit pop in popularity, you know, the drinks like the Cosmos and the Harvey Wallbangers. I don't know what Harvey Ball Wallbanger is, but I think that was in, uh, was in uh, American Psycho. Uh, anyway, so those drinks all kind of came into the picture and um, whiskey was super unpopular. So in the nineties that changed and Julian, Julian Van Winkle the third, so Pappy's great grandson uh, started to bring Pappy back out into the world. Um, and he, uh, I'll tell you about a little bit more about it in a second, but basically um, started to release these bottles. In 1996, uh, the Pappy 20 year was brought to the Beverage Tasting Institute, which is kind of the, you know, the, the main place where liquor is judged. Um, and it scored a 99 out of 100. That was in 1996. And that kind of was what just set the lit the fuse. Um, and Pappy sort of a combination of limited supply and 
quality combined to create this hype for Pappy, where today we're still seeing, you know, this bottle is, is, um, is valued at six, six thousand dollars. So that's an expensive bottle of bourbon. That's why, um, just to plug the journal a little bit, you can go on the journal and read about this. Uh, we have a site, um, and, uh, oh, sorry, we have a story about how Pappy rose. Uh, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm getting some word from my producer here. What's that? Oh yeah. <laughs> Link is in the description. Mash that, mash that like button y'all. Um, I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's it's in this. Yeah, so go to go to the journal and check it out. Uh, I just wrote a story called uh, "There's Secret Pappies All Over the Country," which um, I talked to this guy Pablo, who is a dusty hunter, which is somebody who hunts down rare vintage bottles. Um, and uh, he told me a story about this bottle called the Black Hawk Old Fitzgerald, which is a Stitzel Weller bottle. Uh, it was bottled exclusively for the family who owned the Chicago Blackhawks in the 60s. Uh, so very, very rare, only given to kind of friends and family and business associates. Um, somebody brought him a bottle in his bar in LA uh, to kind of flex and show it off and uh, showed it to him and um, sat down at the bar. Pablo went into the back room, opened the safe, took out $15,000 in cash, brought it out to the bar, set it beside the bottle and said, you're either leaving this cash or you're leaving this bottle. And uh, the guy sat and had a drink with friends for about an hour, stood up and he walked out with the bottle. So I think that story kind of indicates just how popular this stuff is. 15 grand. That's, that's pretty good. Um, okay. So... I think we're going to just get to it. This is the bottle. Very gentle here. It's got the bottle of Pappy. It's kind of got this, like, it's a little bit. Oh, shit! Matt. It's our only one. Matt. <laughs> what? No, no, this is last year's Pappy. This isn't even, this isn't even Pappy. Oh, it is, it is bourbon though. And it is, it's way too early for that. Okay, we got the real bottle. Hang on. All right, if I drop this one, then you know, you'll never see me again. So uh, this is the actual bottle of Pappy. This is the one we're giving away. And we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in here. I've got a, uh, I've got the winner here. You can tell because I wrote the word winner on it. Just given to me by the good folks at PricewaterhouseCooper. I'm gonna go ahead and open this now. And we are gonna find out who the winner is of the annual eighth annual Pappy Day. Matt, you made this, do you like actually seal this, bro? And the winner is of the eighth annual Pappy Day. The winner is Jordan B from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Jordan, you just won yourself a bottle of Pappy. Good work, my man. Jordan B. If there's another Jordan B out there and you also happen to live in Minneapolis and you don't get an email from us, that means you didn't win. Jordan. B, if you got a bot, you're going to get an email from us. Jordan B, Jordan Belfort. Hopefully you're not Jordan Belfort. All my hustle bros out there know Wolf of Wall Street. But uh, no, Jordan B from Minneapolis, Minnesota. So congratulations, my man. Feels I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's just me here. So, well, Matt's over here. But uh, we're going to wrap it up. So listen, the thing, you didn't win, you know, 6,000 of you didn't just, just didn't win. So we do have two other things going on. We have an amazing... Uh, turkey leftover contest, the turkey sandwich, turkey leftover sandwich contest going on right now. So check out our Instagram, check out, um, check out the site. That's going to be a little contest. And then more importantly, we have a serious giveaway coming up. Uh, and I think about two weeks, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's not a bottle of Pappy. It is a big effing deal. Um, so make sure you, you stay tuned, open our emails buy our stuff. It's Black Friday, hunt. 
uh, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, <laughs> mash that subscribe button. Um, and uh, yeah, you know what? Have a great holiday. It's huckberry.com. Go buy a ton of stuff. Make me happy. Make your friends happy, your family happy. Um, and yeah, that's all we got. All right, baby. Have a great thing. Get great. Well, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Have a great holiday season. And uh, we'll see you out there. All right. Bye-bye.